Hi, this is Robert Galarowitz, naturopath, nutritionist, and the creator and founder of the All Natural Kidney Health and Kidney Function Restoration Program located at HealKidneyDisease.com. And behind me, I wrote down some things that I want to go over about how you can start bettering your kidney health today. Now, the first thing we got listed here is exercise. Now, there's been a lot of studies over the years, and recently a study came out in 2013 that showed that people who exercise were able to slow down their kidney function. Now, when it comes to exercise and kidney disease, you don't want to be doing really strenuous activities where you're going to feel really sore um, and you actually more, create more damage to your kidney that way by creating something called free radical damage. So the best type of exercise is mild to moderate. Start with three days a week, 15, 20 minutes, maybe just walking, and then build gradually, but you want to avoid all intense exercise. Mild to moderate exercise on a consistent basis is the key to slowing down kidney disease. Now something else we got here is folic acid. Folic acid is real important for kidney disease because it prevents a lot of the cardiovascular, the heart problems that come along with kidney disease. And it also helps um, reduce what's called those free radicals again, which is cell damage to the kidneys. So folic acid at a dose of 400 to 800 micrograms per, per day, that's 400 to 800 mcg, which is micrograms per day. So exercise, folic acid, and berries, but any type of berries are excellent in kidney disease. They're low in, in potassium, which you want to want to keep your limits low with kidney disease. They also have a lot of antioxidants. These are good things that clean up that, that free radical cell damage that I mentioned earlier. So blueberries, raspberries, strawberries, you want to add them to your diet. So you want to start with those couple things. Also we got green tea. Now specifically green tea has shown to reduce some of that free radical uh, kidney cell damage that you find. And because because uh, green tea has a lot of powerful things called polyphenols, EGCG, all these good things that are very healthy for the body and the kidney. So start off consuming a couple cups of green tea per day. If you have to watch your potassium levels, then you want to keep it to maybe two to three cups a day of the green tea, but also monitor your blood work to make sure you're not going too high on potassium. Next up, we have star fruit. Now star fruit is more of an exotic fruit which goes by the, um, the name Carambola, but the nickname is more star fruit because it's shaped in a, in a star shape. You want to avoid this with kidney disease because there's a toxin in there that is shown to destroy the kidney and the body further if you consume it. Now, if you have healthy kidney function, you don't have any decreased kidney function, your body can filter out this toxin quite fine. But if you have any decreased kidney function, it seems that the body can't get rid of this toxin, which ends up causing more damage overall. So it's a must avoid fruit with kidney disease. Now I have more tips, more things you can do on my website at healkidneydisease.com. There's a free video of over seven ways to begin improving your hit kidney health. And all the recommendations are within the first four minutes of the video, so you don't have to watch it long. And you also can learn about my program there, the All Natural Kidney Health and Kidney Function Restoration Program. Thanks for watching, and if you have kidney disease, you know, you really got to be proactive with your health. There are so many things you can do to prevent further damage and to possibly avoid kidney failure and dialysis. So visit my website at HealKidneyDisease.com. Have a good day. Best wishes. Bye.